Good morning everyone. I'm going office today. We are implementing an EPIC EMR system to many of our hospital and I have set up a command center to support our applications. We have completed two quarter um, and um, I encourage you to go and do your quarterly review. I sent a newsletter this morning which list um, my process how I do, do my quarterly review and I encourage you to do please check out and uh, you know, perform your own quarterly review because that will help you tremendously in accomplishing more in the next quarter when we see what we have already accomplished um, it give you a lot of boost energy boost um, motivation boost so uh, it's a very simple process in which you start with listing everything that you have accomplished. You can go through your calendar, you can go through your notes, you can go through um, pictures in your uh, uh, phone, uh, phone pictures. And um, try to remember, you can talk to your family member. You can, so try to list everything that you have accomplished in June, May, April so three months and then once you have that list then you start circling them um, the one that are more significant that one that are close to the bigger goal that you have in um, for this year uh, you can also categorize them into a couple of areas such as health family or finance your personal growth your professional growth and things like that uh, I made a list in the newsletter so that will be helpful and uh, once you have this category you can then um, uh, see a holistic picture uh, if you're doing this in computer then it's easy to move them around into multiple categories and if you're doing it on paper maybe you can rewrite them um, so once you see the category um, the list with the category you now you realize that uh, uh, which area uh, you have done better and which area is lacking behind um, so you reflect upon it this also help you relive some of those moment moments uh, exciting moments and uh, you can see the um, uh, the exciting part and then you will also find uh, some of the areas that can be improved once you're done with this you you have the reflection then you come to the last step which is uh, planning for the next quarter and um, what you want to do is uh, um, at least one or couple of activities uh, um, in each of these areas I am not saying you set a goal or something but you set an intention you start with uh, some intention for example for your healthy a uh, health area you want to start with intention that uh, um, you have an intention to be more healthy or to be more healthy activities then you list down uh, uh, what are different things that you will do uh, obviously you have an inventory of things that you have done uh, in the last quarter so based on that it will help you uh, fine-tune what are the different things that you could do in that area so you're setting intention for different areas there will be one area where you want to focus more for me it's personal growth personal growth in a way that uh, my writing my youtube my um, overall thought process around where i want to take this uh, uh, burst of creativity that is coming um, through my writing and all um, so for me that is an area for you it could be your career growth it could be something that you want to learn um, uh, a new learning new programming language new area of your office work new soft skill it could be anything but uh, you identify that one area um, uh, sorry I, I didn't mean to just emphasize on the the work related task it could be health um, uh, like Louis for last two years he's been 
focusing on um, exercise and he has transformed his body so it could be in any of the area right it could be family related activity it could be uh, something to do with your partner pick an area you can't pick too many areas so that's why my point is pick one area where you will be focusing so you're setting intention for many areas but then in this area you're not only setting intentions but uh, you're also um, trying to identify how you can elevate that to a completely different level um, if it is about your spouse and better relationship then um, you can identify uh, your current situation and then how you're gonna take it to the completely next level and you may want to go deeper with uh, uh, what are the key results that you are expecting um, to achieve that intention so to to fill that a uh, gap between your today and your uh, three month down uh, after the quarter so again um, that will be the planning and then um, um, you want to review it on a, on a weekly basis especially that uh, uh, that uh, big focus area anyway that's all um, start with making a list then categorize it and once you have uh, the category that will help you review different areas of your life um, and um, that help you get uh, a one level up to see overall holistic approach um, how you are doing in different areas and uh, what area is lagging and then you make a plan so i hope you like it let me know in the comment um, that whether or not you're able to follow if you need more information ask me question on um, either youtube or in um, twitter and i will be happy to answer i love this area i love this activities and i hope you will like it as well